Hello, uh, my name is Kateri and I'm an abstract artist. The concept for me is to create a visual effect that brings the actual uh, uh, art that I create off the canvas or off a panel board. I uh, do type of an assembly type uh, process. I'll have several uh, shapes uh, that I use at one time. Triangles, I use triangles a lot. I use uh, straight lines. I use rectangles, any geometric shape. Uh, also circles, this one has circles in it. And I really love doing the circle work. I don't know why, but, <laughs> but the earth is round and we live on it, so I'm influenced by that. Believe it or not, I found this, the main base is a plate. <laughs> it's a bamboo plate. And uh, there was a series of, I think, three or four plates. And I just knew that I could use it for, you know, in the place of a canvas. This is a, a shadow box. This is a panel board that I use. And I also work on canvas. And this is a canvas piece that um, I've created. Um, a lot of the pieces that I uh, create are on canvas. And I wanted to show you this particular piece because it really shows you the uh, three-dimensional effect that I have when I create these pieces. Each piece is handmade. Each piece is hand-painted. I'll have my canvas on my table. I'll have the, my different colors and shapes around me, and it's like a puzzle. What I do is I start grabbing pieces and placing them on the canvas, and I'll put a piece here and maybe another piece here, and then I, you know, move them around to see what's going to be the best visual uh, uh, effect. These are craft sticks and tongue depressors that I use and then the panel board that I cut to shape. Mostly I work with wood because I love wood. I've always uh, hugged trees and <laughs> I enjoy the, the, the texture of the wood, the the feel of it, and I just love the smell of wood when I'm, when I'm uh, creating. My mother was my first encourager, and then when I was in school, my teachers just uh, saw my potential as far as art, and so I had a lot of teachers that encouraged me, and it's very important that you have that encouragement because you gain confidence, and you understand that people uh, appreciate and like what you do. My advice is um, for you art budding artists out there is to let you know there is no limit to what you can do. Keep at it, keep at it like anything and you will succeed and you will be surprised at what you can do. Your imagination is the greatest tool you have. Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm an art teacher with Tennessee Craft. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Kateri. Kateri creates abstract art, focusing on lines, shapes, and colors. Her preferred material is wood, but she also uses an assortment of found objects. To get started, Kateri uses a two-dimensional surface, and then she begins to build it up until it becomes three-dimensional. When she hangs the piece on the wall, it comes out into the viewer's space. As you walk around it, you can see it from multiple angles and experience it in different ways. We're going to learn from Kateri today and create a mixed media work of art of our own. First, we need to gather some materials. You can see here, I've gathered an assortment of wood pieces, including popsicle sticks, since that's Kateri's preferred material. But I also have some other things. If you've been following along, you might recognize these scraps from previous activities. I have cardboard, foam, and foil scraps. I also have glue. To get started, we're going to begin with a panel. This is a wood panel, but if you don't have one of those, cardboard works great and is easy to find. Gather your pieces that you would like to use in your collage and then start placing them. As you do this, you might think of it like a puzzle. That's what Kateri does. 
You'll be moving parts and pieces around until you're satisfied with their placement. When you are satisfied with the first layer, you'll take your white glue and glue these pieces down. Allow it to dry completely and then hold it up against the wall. You might decide at this point that you would like to continue adding layers to it. You get to determine when it's complete. You get to make those artistic choices just like Kateri does because each of your pieces will be as unique and individual as you are. For more information about this activity, including step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks, please visit TennesseeCraft.org.